Welcome to Washington America Show with international multimedia journalist, multidimensional, multifaceted artist and director of Human Rights Justice Council USA, Dr. Kashif Sohail. Parasailing, also known as parasending or parakiting, is a recreational activity where a person is towed behind a vehicle, usually a boat, while attached to a specially designed canopy wing that resembles a parachute, known as a parasail wing. There are two types of parasailing, the terrestrial and the aquatic. The terrestrial way of practicing parasailing is over land and you are attached to a jeep. Meanwhile, the aquatic way to practice parasailing is over water, where you will be attached to a motorboat. The average boat speed will range from 15 to 30 miles per hour, more during turns. The flyer gets a grand view, and so do people for miles around. Operators recommend a bathing suit for warm days. As you may be exposed to wind and ocean spray, choose a suit that fits closely and won't fall off or get caught in your harness. Women should opt for a sleek, close-fitting single-piece suit. Men should wear close-fitting trunks rather than baggy beach shorts. Parasails are essentially just parachutes and are used by people being towed by boats at the beach or on lakes. They never get more than a few hundred feet high at most. The parasailing weight limit on the minimum end is around 110 pounds because the person needs to be big enough to handle the flight without getting blown around dangerously. On the higher end, you have a weight limit of around 425 pounds which they intended so that the line never snaps. The chances of having an accident while parasailing is quite low. Parasailing is a safe activity for children that meet the age and weight requirements, however, the ultimate decision is up to a parent or guardian. Wind and water are the two main ingredients for a good parasail, so they both need to be ideal for the best trip. Follow the weather before you hope to head out. Consistent high wind will allow the sail to stay afloat, but it could cause choppy the water, which makes boating unpleasant and less safe. From afar, parasailing looks like people are gliding down after a skydive. However, the view is much different while in the parasail. Because parasails can get up to 1,000 feet off of the ground, participants get an unbeatable view of the surrounding ocean and beach area. There really is not the best time of a day for parasailing regarding the experience of your actual flight and parasail tours start from early morning to late afternoon. The mornings usually provide the most glassy ocean conditions and the smoothest rides. Never fly in rain, fog, or an approaching storm fronts in the area. Avoid parasailing in winds over 15 miles per hour which can increase your risk in the event during an emergency water landing. The manned kite's moving anchor may be a car, truck, or boat. The harness attaches the pilot to the parasail, which is connected to the boat, or land vehicle by the tow rope. The vehicle then drives off, carrying the paracenter, or wing, and person into the air. If the boat is powerful enough, two or three people can parasail behind it at the same time. 
the parasander has little or no control over the parachute. The activity is primarily a fun ride, not to be confused with the sport of paragliding. Parasailing is a low-risk activity. Use an experienced operator who maintains and inspects his equipment on a regular basis. Parasailing is a sporting and recreational activity where you're towed behind a boat while held aloft by a parachute-like sail. Parasails are nothing but parachutes and can be used by people being towed by boats at the beach or on lakes. Parasailing is very serene and peaceful. Takeoffs and landings are very slow and gentle making you feel as if you are truly floating on air. Minimum age for parasailing is around 6. Participants under the age of 18 must have a parent or guardian sign their liability waiver. The minimum combined weight is 160 pounds and a maximum combined weight of about 450 pounds weight requirements change daily due to wind conditions and are subject to captain's approval. You take off and land directly on the boat. After they fit you with a special parasail harness, you are seated next to your partners on the flight deck and then gently launched and retrieved using a hydraulic winch system. By skillful exploitation of sources of lift, the pilot may gain height, often climbing to altitudes of a few thousand meters. You should wear bathing suits if you want to get wet, otherwise shorts, tees, and flip-flops. Occasionally, it can be chilly, especially in the morning or winter months so bring a sweatshirt and pants so you can layer accordingly. They can fly you in a dress or tuxedo remember you don't have to get wet. The excursion is part parasailing and part boat ride, so you should plan on being out on the pristine Pacific waters for about an hour and 15 minutes to an hour and a half. Each parasail boat holds up to 15 passengers who take turns flying two or three at a time. Captain and crew are specifically trained in all aspects of parasailing, boat handling, and flight procedures, with years experience and thousands of flights. Because of parasailing's popularity and the limited space, they encourage reservations. There are times when guests show up without a reservation only to wait for a couple of hours until there is a space open for them. There are some folks who like the idea of a private charter so they can parasail for as long as they want or make their outing more intimate. You should plan for parasailing during the first part of your vacation. The weather at times can be unpredictable and some folks have made the mistake of trying to plan for parasailing on the last day of their vacation, only to have Mother Nature rain on their parade. Please share the video, subscribe to our channel.